Hi, everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. X plus 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. Okay. And um, let's break the left hand side here. X plus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So that we can now expand what we have inside here to get x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. Remember, everything is squared and is equal to 16. From here, the expansion of this x times x is x squared. x times 2, that will be plus 2x. 2 times x, that will be plus 2x. Then 2 times 2, that is 4. Now the whole of this is squared and it's equal to 16. Right? Okay, so if we continue, then we have x squared plus 4x plus 4. Because 2x plus 2x is 4x. Then squared is equal to 16. Now, what again can we do? We can square, no, take the square root of both sides. Square root of x squared plus 4x plus 4 all squared is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16. So that's from here, this can go with this one. And then x squared plus 4x plus 4 is alone and it's equal to plus or minus the square root of 16 okay if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe so you can get more of my videos okay oh this has to be square root right the square root of 16 and mind you that the square root of 16 is what 4 so our x squared now plus 4 x plus 4 is equal to plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. Now, I'm going to use positive. In fact, let's get the two equations here. We have x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 4. One of the solutions, I mean one of the equations. Then, x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals negative 4 and that is one of the solutions i'm going to concentrate on this and then after i'll get back to this from here we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 4 now equal to 0 and then x squared plus 4x is equal to zero this is a quadratic equation and um, we can solve this by factorization so that we have x plus 4 here to be equal to zero and this equally means that it's either x is zero or x plus 4 is zero this is the point where we apply the um, zero product rule because we are multiplying these two to get zero. So one of them must be zero. So our x remains zero or x is equal to zero minus four. So that our x is zero or x is equal to minus four. Therefore, x is equal to zero or minus four. Then remember that we left out one other equation. So we'll go back and pick this equation and then we deal with it. Let's go. Okay, so the equation we have now used is x squared right plus 4x plus 4 equals negative 4. And what we will do is we'll bring this to the other side. The one we used before, here we had um, positive 4. So let's bring this to the left x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 4 equals 0 
then x squared plus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. And we are going to solve this by using the formula. The formula has a, b, c. So our a is 1. That is the coefficient of x squared. Our b is 4. And our c is equal to 8. Now, what is the formula? Remembering the formula is um, not it's not always easy for some learners. So let's try to get the formula here. The formula, the quadratic general formula is x. Mind you, this x is not always constant. The unknown variable in the equation determines the, the subject of um, the formula, right? So our x is now minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac as we divide all through by 2 times a. What do we do? Substitute into the formula so that x is minus 4 because b is 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 4 squared now minus 4 times 1 times 8. Because a is 1 and c is 8, then everything here is divided by 2 times 1. So our x will be minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32 as we divide by 2 because 2 times 1 is 2. Now our x is minus 4 plus or minus, we have the square root of negative um, 16. Because 16 minus 32 is negative 16, and we divide by 2. Now, our x is minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by the square root of negative 1 as we divide all through by 2. If you multiply this and this, you get square root of negative 16. Now, our x is minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. Then square root of negative 1 is i, so we multiply by 4, and we divide by 2. So this can go there, so that x becomes minus 2, plus or minus, 2 will go here again, we now have 2i, right? This is a 2 in 1 solution. Let's get the 3 solutions together right away. We had x before, let's call that x1 to be equal to 0, then we had another x, which is x2, to be um, negative 4, if you can recall. Then our x3 is from here, and that is minus 2 plus 2i. And then our x4 is the negative, which is minus 2 minus 2i. So these are the four solutions to the equation.